focus on different things every every year and uh, usually every term. Uh, last year we were looking at Ulysses butterflies, so we propagated a lot of um, uh, food plants for them. This year we're looking at pollinators in general because uh, that's quite a hot topic with the loss of habitat of um, bees and a lot of native insects and things. So one of the things we did was to build these pollinator houses. Uh, the students made these from uh, entirely recycled materials, from bamboo and timber from the garden, uh, leftover offcuts of timber. And the idea is that this provides nesting sites for a lot of the native bees. Uh, we have a lot of solitary bees, um, a lot of wasps which are beneficial in the garden, a lot of the mud wasps and things. And they come and build their nests inside these, uh, these little houses. So they, we get quite a diverse range of insects using them. And then the other part of that process of uh, looking at the pollinators was to have these various pollinator gardens. There's one that we over here which is just finishing now, it was all annuals. Uh, but we grew a lot of Mexican sunflowers and cornflowers and um, just the yellow sunflowers, uh, zinnias. And um, when, they're, when they're in flower they uh, brought a lot of colour and interest to the store but also supported a lot of, a lot of butterflies and a lot of bees and uh, big clouds of native bees and a lot of, a lot of insects are very successful. Yeah, beautiful. That's so great. That's really inspiring. And, and what do you find that the students enjoy about all of that? Oh, they like, uh, a lot of them like making things. Uh, so everybody likes to produce something. And, you know, these are, these are a good little project. Um, and you, you've been selling, the, the, stu the students have been selling those yeah, at yeah, market? Yeah, so we, uh, we produce a lot of different products uh, which we sell. Um, and in season we have a lot of fruit, which uh, we do like a food subscription program. Oh, and, right. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, That's um, excellent. Yeah. And honey? Honey. Yeah. Yeah, honey, uh, honeycomb, beeswax wrap, seeds, fruit, uh, eggs. With, uh, chickens are very, very good this year. I oh, said so the kids make the beeswax wraps as well yes. here? Yep. yep. And what... what area of the school do they do that in? Uh, we did it, we've got our own room now up at one of the old labs. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. And how does the um, garden work in with the different areas of the school? Like what, how, how does it connect with different sections of the school? Uh, that's something that we could develop a lot, I think, mm -hmm. a little bit more connectivity. Yep. Yeah, we get um, uh, senior biology students use it. We have our sustainability electives classes, and we have agricultural science classes. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. That's really great. Thank you. But yeah, they breed every year. There's, you know, there's, there's quite a few big, big breeders in there, and um, yeah, and uh, yeah, they they're quite a quite a good, well-established population in there. Uh, I was just just saying before that the, uh, we had a, we had these up to about this size last year. See, part of the situation here, you know, we've got world heritage rainforests here. Um, one of our things is not, is not just the, um, uh, the agricultural aspect, but the biodiversity, the biodiversity. So, 
Um, you know, things like that.